The 2000s birthed some of our favorite bands of all time, and those acts gifted us with some astounding live albums, spotlighting a certain time in each band's history. Records like these show the viewer a more in-depth, behind-the-minds feel. From My Chemical Romance to Paramore, check out some of our favorite live albums from the 2000s now. But before we go live, make sure to subscribe to APTV and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. And check out the link in the description to the Spotify playlist featuring all of the artists on this list. 10 live albums from the 2000s that still slap today. The Used, Birth. This certified gold release hears a set from the Used Vancouver performance on the Taste of Chaos tour in 2005. Besides the show, the DVD includes footage about In Love and Death, their world tour, and other footage while offering fans an exclusive preview of Pretty Handsome Awkward months before Lies for the Liars was released in 2007. With the original footage that was filmed for Birth going missing, the used had to come up with fresh ideas that became the final product we all know and love, featuring futuristic looks inside their catalog. Paramore, The Final Riot. Paramore released two live albums in 2008, Live in the UK and The Final Riot. The former was a two-disc album featuring 14 songs from the band's first two albums. The Final Riot, on the other hand, was a CD-DVD combo with the track list containing one more song than the former. The songs were recorded at their Congress Theater show in Chicago from August 12, 2008 during their summer tour. The DVD portion sees the Congress Theater show as well as a documentary called 40 Days of Riot and other clips of Paramore during the tour. Fall Out Boy, Live in Phoenix. Fall Out Boy dropped their first live album, Live in Phoenix, on April Fool's Day in 2008. It could be purchased as a CD-DVD combo or bought individually. The set took place during their 2007 Honda Civic Tour on the June 22nd stop in Phoenix at the Cricket Pavilion. The CD contains 15 songs, while the DVD holds 22, with one being a drum solo from Andy Hurley. The Chicago pop punk favorites threw in a handful of covers in their set list, including ones of Panic at the Disco, Akon, Timbaland, and more. My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade is Dead. Following 2006's Life on the Murder Scene came another incredible live album from My Chemical Romance, the Black Parade is Dead. The CD-DVD combo see MCR's final performance as The Black Parade October 7, 2007 in Mexico City, while just the DVD sees an additional performance in their home state of New Jersey on October 24, 2007. The Black Parade is Dead highlighted one of the most important albums from MCR's catalog in a light that had only been seen by a handful of fans, making The Black Parade is Dead a godsend to MCR Army soldiers around the globe. Taking Back Sunday, Louder Now Part 2. Following their chart-topping record, Louder Now, Taking Back Sunday dropped Louder Now Part 2, which came as a CD-DVD package. The CD hears eight tracks from their all-time greatest record, Louder Now, along with two bonus songs, Sleep and Brooklyn, If You See Something, Say Something, as well as a hidden track, 12 Days of Christmas, Christmas is for the Birds. The DVD for part two sees tour footage from the band during one of the many high points in their career, along with multiple music videos and much more. This live album honors an important piece of Taking Back Sunday's history while spotlighting a key chunk of the scene's narrative. Dashboard Confessional, MTV Unplugged 2.0. Dashboard Confessional released their first live album, MTV Unplugged 2.0, in late 2002. The live album comes packed with music from their two albums, The Swiss Army Romance and The Places You Have Come to Fear the Most, as well as their So Impossible EP. But MTV's version offers the listener a more upbeat experience of the classic emo tracks. This unique dashboard experience will have you screaming infidelities while running through flashbacks of your favorite high school romance. Panic at the Disco, live in Chicago. Recorded at the Congress Theater in Chicago during two nights on their Honda Civic tour, Panic at the Disco's live album contains 17 songs from their first two albums. The DVD portion sees the live performance in Chicago, a documentary-like segment, several music videos, and several making of music videos. Although we didn't know it at the time, Live in Chicago was the last Panic product to see guitarist Ryan Ross and bassist John Walker before they stepped away. At the time of release, Panic had dropped the exclamation mark from their name, 
which can be seen on Live in Chicago's packaging, which adds another unique aspect to this insane live album. Green Day, Bullet in a Bible. Recorded during their American Idiot world tour while in the UK, Green Day released Bullet in a Bible in 2005. The songs heard on the album were performed in front of a crowd of over 130,000 people, which is a size most bands never even see in their career. It only makes sense that this larger-than-life live album emanated from Green Day, as no one could create such a must-have album like these genre icons. The Killers live from the Royal Albert Hall. The Killers released their first live album, Live from the Royal Albert Hall, in 2009, following two shows at that venue. The CD hears 17 tracks from the band's catalog at that time, with one song being a Joy Division cover, while the DVD contains 29 songs with bonus tracks that were recorded at multiple festivals throughout Europe. Live from the Royal Albert Hall remains an essential record for any fan of live entertainment as it highlights some of the act's incredible hits with raw, amazing vocals courtesy of frontman Brandon Flowers. Coheed and Cambria, Never Ender, Children of the Fence. Coheed and Cambria's live album, Never Ender, Children of the Fence, comes from a four-night concert series where the band played one of their four albums at the time each night in New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, and London. This Coheed experience is unlike any other and it offers just a taste of the amazing storyteller that is frontman Claudio Sanchez. What's your favorite live album from the 2000s? Let us know in the comments below.